So, you want to make anime hair, but you don't know how. Not a problem. Shift A and start with the curve. Any curve, it doesn't matter. I use Bezier, but then you get your hair strand mesh. Just a simple anime hair shape is fine. Then you click your object and give it a curve modifier. Set it to the curve, and if the orientation looks off, just adjust this until it lines up correctly. And we're just going to add a subdivision modifier to make it a little smoother. Alright, from here, if you click the curve and go to edit mode, it's really easy to adjust the curve to whatever shape you want. And as usual, Alt S changes the size of the mesh at each point of the curve, and Ctrl T twists the hair around the selected point. To add new points in between existing ones, just click two points, then right click and subdivide. And alternatively, you can also click the ends and press E to extrude new points as well. Once you got the curve shaped the way you want, you can click on the mesh and adjust its dimensions to fit the curve. Now, generally, I recommend recommend making a few variants of different type of anime hair curve shapes because then it makes it really easy to add some spice to your hairstyles later on down the line. And for those of you who don't want to or don't have time to make your own anime hair meshes, I spent like a whole summer doing nothing but making anime hair meshes, which you can find on my art station shop if you want, but like I said before, you can make your own simple meshes very easily. They do not have to be complicated. Regardless, that's really it. Once you get the curves shaped the way you want, you're done.